Hey guys, it's Julia here and I'm back with a new Lightroom editing tutorial. This is a Lightroom workflow tutorial and I've turned it into a speed edit um, because I have 86, I think, photos that I'm editing or 89. And I think it took me about half an hour in real time to edit. So I figured I'd save you guys all the pain of having to watch me edit for a whole half an hour. And I've shortened it down to 10 minutes for you guys. And I'm just going to be explaining my process, my thought process in what I do while I'm editing in Lightroom. And yeah, let's jump into it. So recently I just got back a couple of weeks ago from Italy. Dan and I spent a whole week there exploring and going on road trips. It was amazing. And I went kind of photo crazy while I was there, of course. <laughs> and Dan and I went to Venice for one day. We were there for like the afternoon and the night and I went like absolutely picture crazy. I took so many. So I've selected my favorite 80 or so photos from the day and that's what I'm going to be editing in this tutorial. So I'm actually editing these photos with a new set of Lightroom presets that will be available on Digital Film Actions by the time you're watching this video. So if you're interested in checking them out, please have a look in the description where I'll put a link for the preset for you guys. And this preset is called Florence and there are five different presets in the pack. And of course it was inspired during my time in Italy. I wanted to make like a film like preset with like really pretty pink hues that kind of go with like the old buildings that you find in Italy and that suits that sort of landscape. I'm going to release a Monday Lightroom preset feature video on this preset so you can also see what it looks like on fashion photos. I personally really love the way it looks but yeah I just really love that film style so I'm really happy with this set of presets. Basically what I'm doing is going through each image one by one and I'm applying any of the Florence presets. So basically I hover my mouse over the preset to see what it will look like in the little preview box in the top left hand corner of Lightroom. And when I'm happy with what one of them look like, I apply the preset. Once I've applied the preset, depending on how the photo was shot, um, I will edit the exposure and the white balance of the photos. Because this is travel photography and it's not a controlled environment like a fashion shoot, the exposures of my images can be quite off, so some of my images might be super overexposed and some of my images might be really, really dark. And this is basically because while we're walking around, I'm just kind of pointing my camera everywhere and just snapping photos of everything that I see. And sometimes I don't really keep up with changing my manual settings on my camera in order to get a photo perfectly exposed and I feel like that's just kind of the way it is with travel photography sometimes you kind of want to just capture moments as they happen so I would rather get the photo and that moment captured rather than fiddling around with settings too much and missing that moment so that's why I'm doing so much tweaking and why I thought it would be interesting to record this process for you guys so you can see how I edit photos and presets that kind of don't work that well together because my settings weren't on point with the photo taking, <laughs> if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm applying the preset and normally the only thing that I will change is the exposure and the white balance. Sometimes if the white balance is way off, for example, if a photo is really, really cold, I'll bring up the temperature to make it warmer. And sometimes that also affects the tint of the photo. So I find that if I bring up a photo to make it super warm, the greens kind of come out in the photo a little bit. The same if I bring up the exposure a lot. Shadows in Canon photos normally have a lot of green in them. So I bring up the tint a little bit as well. A few other things that I tweak while editing travel photos is the lens correction. So I like to edit lens correction because sometimes with travel photography, I find especially when you have photos of buildings, you can get quite a dark vignette around your photos. So basically, if I find that a photo has too much vignetting, I will scroll down and tick the lens correction box and Lightroom automatically can tell what camera and what lens I use to take this particular photo and it will automatically get rid of any lens distortion and any vignetting in the photo. Sometimes I find that it gets rid of too much vignetting, so I also bring it down a little bit. Um, but that's kind of just personal preference with me. I do it for some photos and I don't do it for other photos. 
And then the other thing that I like to do when editing travel photography is to use the gradual um, brush in Lightroom. And if you guys would like to see a specific tutorial on using adjustment brushes in Lightroom, please let me know because I would love to make that for you. Um, but basically, once again, because it's not a controlled environment like a fashion shoot, I sometimes get photos with harsh shadows and bright light in them. Or sometimes my, again, my exposure isn't correct, so part of the photo is too dark for my liking. So my process for this is I will apply the preset for the photo, I will adjust the exposure, I'll adjust the, um, the white balance and the tint, and once I'm happy with what that looks like, that's when I'll decide whether I need to add the gradient brush or not. And I always do this after because if you use the gradient brush before the preset, you're not going to really be able to tell what the photo is going to look like before you apply the preset, so it's better to do it afterwards. And as you can see, I just did it here on this photo. We had super bright light on the left hand on the right hand side of the photo where the sun was shining and then the rest of the building was in the shadow but it was the shadow took up like the majority of the photo so I really wanted to bring that back because it was such a beautiful building so I didn't want to get rid of that photo and now I'm editing some portraits and silly photos of myself from the day um, something else that I like to do when I'm editing a set of photos with a particular preset is that if I've got five or a whole bunch of photos that were taken of the same subject in the same place with the same lighting and the same camera settings, I like to apply the preset on the first photo of that set and then I adjust all the settings and once I'm happy with what that photo looks like, I select it and then press shift and select on the last photo of the set. So all the photos that look the same are selected. And then I press the sync button in Lightroom Press enter when that second dialog box comes up and that's how I sync all my Lightroom presets to one photo. And this kind of makes editing a whole bunch of photos super easy. It's actually a lot harder to do that with travel photography since you're taking so many photos of different things. You might be taking a photo of a building and then of a landscape and then you've got a photo of yourself and then you've got a photo of like strangers and you've got photos in the sun and the shadows, like there's so many different things happening. But every now and then I do have a set of photos that I can sync the settings of, which is really great. And this is something that I do a lot when I'm editing my fashion photography shoots. Once again, because it's in a controlled environment, normally I take a lot of photos in one location and pick a whole bunch of photos from that one spot so I can easily sync all the settings and it makes editing super easy. So we are now coming up to editing the photos from the end of the day once the sun set and it started getting dark. And I actually really love this Lightroom preset pack because it kind of works for all lighting situations. I love what it looks backlit and in the shadows and with harsh light and it works really well even at night. So for this one, I think I use Florence number two. It has like a slightly more blue tone to it which actually works really well for nighttime photos. As you know, at night, if you're using artificial light as your light source, in which case I am here because all the surrounding buildings had like tungsten, tungsten? I don't know how to say that. Light, like orange light, and it kind of adds that color tone to your photos. So I really liked using Florence number two for these nighttime photos. And all I basically do for extra editing is bring up the exposure a little bit. I brought down the temperature so it's a little bit more blue. And I also use some noise reduction. I was shooting these nighttime photos on the Canon 5D Mark III, so they did turn out a little bit grainy. But here we are at the end of my Lightroom workflow tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something by watching me edit. And also thank you for keeping me company while I was editing my photos from Venice. I'm actually going to be blogging these photos really soon. So please keep an eye out on my blog. And as I mentioned earlier, the Florence Lightroom preset is out by the time you're watching this. So I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out. There are five Lightroom presets in this pack. And I think there are going to be a few more Italy inspired presets too, which I'm excited about. Please subscribe to my channel. I put out three new videos a week. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys all really soon. Bye.